How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video on the go-kart. We're going to be working on just about everything uh, in this video. Uh, I'm going to show you some of what I got to do. and uh, This is just tedious work, but uh, I'll show you what I got to do here. And then we're going to get on it. Check this out. All right, you guys remember the old go-kart seat we said we could use on another go-kart. Well, since I'm such a big guy and I kind of like this seat, I think what I'm going to do is restore it. It's only right that I keep this seat. So I'm going to restore the seat. We're going to strip it all down. And we got some old rusted bolts to get out. That looks bad, but we'll probably cut most of them off. And then we may even be able to use a set of seatbelts on this thing. And then, so we'll get, we'll, we'll restore the seat. And the nice thing about it is restoring that seat, I don't have to weld nothing on my cart. I could just use the seat. It's going to bolt right up. And this thing back here, not thinking when I cut this off, which would have been hard anyhow, but I need to chop this off. And then I need to cut this piece here and cut this down here and then cut in there because I need to keep this piece of pipe right here. It needs to be welded back on uh, because I need this for my brake. So we'll be welding this back on the cart, this piece, and we're going to be eliminating that pipe and that pipe there, this one here. Uh, but we're going to keep this pipe because it's going to this pipe's going to go back on the cart And then uh, like I, I've been telling you guys I got a lot of grind to do so I'm going to go ahead and get all of this cleaned up And then I get you guys back in here and we'll get started probably It's either going to be the steering or it's going to be the rear end I haven't figured it out whatever I feel like doing I guess So let me get to getting this stuff cleaned up well, I finally got all my grinding done. I'm telling you, this took the better part of the afternoon just to get all this metal ground off. And that's just roughing it. We'll end up sanding over it again with a... We'll, instead of using a grinder, we'll use sandpaper. But now I'm going to start taking all the uh, warnings off of this thing. going to take it easy here, quiet down. It's been a while, so... We want to get all these stickers off because we are going to repaint it. Not sure on the color yet, but we'll figure something out on that. <clears throat> now, uh, we got these pieces done too. That was the piece, and I needed this piece. This piece is actually going to be, I think, welded onto this piece to support this in the back. And that's where our brake is going to go. Our brake is going to mount into this piece here. But there was such a big clump of steel on there, and it was hard to get it off. But we got it off. Now I got it setting back here, so I don't forget where it's got to go. Uh, it is looking good. It's just taking a lot of time. You just got to have some patience and uh, just kind of go with the flow and think about what you do before you do it. So right now we're just going to get all these stickers off so we can get this guy get as much as we can cleaned up it's uh definitely been a little bit rough but we'll get it I'm gonna work on the seat um, hoping maybe tonight I can cut the wood two panels for the seat and get it ready uh, at least wait so we could sit on it and get our foot pedals mocked up where we want our foot pedals uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have enough room but we'll know once we get the uh, once we get the uh, wood on that seat that seat, we're just going to cover it just like you would any other chair. And I think it should be pretty good. So I'm just going to work on these stickers right now. This is some old wood that I had left over from the cargo camper trailer. The cargo trailer we turned into a camper, so got to use it up. seat and firewood.
good firewood. <clears throat> well, it's been a day or so. Uh, took just a short little break on this. I did make the little seat. Uh, this is uh, for my seat. I'm going to build the uh, seat cushion and everything to put on this. So I'm just framing this up. Gives a little bit more stability for big guys like me. And uh, I do have the, the covering for it and everything. But we're just going to set that all to the side. And I think today I'm going to work on the getting the rear axle in. Uh, that's a big thing to get that rear axle in, so I figured, well, we might as well get on it while it's still tore down and get this axle welded into place. So, that's going to be it. We're going to get her done. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, get that seat back off of there. <clears throat> I just basically got everything just sitting on here. I think I'm probably going to, I don't have no help, so I might have to uh, set it on the floor to get it lined up. And we'll get it welded into place, and hopefully then we can start getting everything else done. It's, it's coming along pretty good, though. It's taking a little time, but it's been a fun project, I'll tell you that. All right, here's what we got to work with. We got us a 44 inch axle. Now, when you order these axles, you can get them a little bit longer. You can, you can actually get them pretty much any length you want. You just pay a couple dollars more per inch, which is not bad. Actually, that's really good for these high quality axles. Now, uh, here are the weld on brackets and bearings for the axle. Um, we're gonna be putting this together and this is what we're gonna start out with. And if you guys uh, need some of these parts that you see me working with, they come from GoPowerSports.com. You'll be able to pick them up. Just go down in my description and you'll see a link for each of the parts uh, so you can pick them up for your own cart. So uh, let's get to working on this guy. Now I've never lined up one of these axles before. We worked on Justin's there and we just took a jack and leveled it out to where we thought it would be and that was it. Uh, but I cut a piece of wood between this because we have his tilted just a little bit one way or another So I cut a piece of tuba for and put a clamp on it to keep them right where I want them to stay and Then uh, I measured from the front of this to the front axle straight back and then that front axle straight back So all the way from the front to the back right where it goes where this the axle is and I got them even so I'm hoping that this is going to work out. Uh, I don't know that this is something that has to be perfect, but I thought with the motor it had to be square with the motor too. So I don't have the motor on there and I'd have to flip it over to put the motor on there. So what I might do is I might just tack this thing into place and uh, see what it looks like. I can always cut it back off if it's not where I want it. So let's get it tacked up. Better get our ground on here. Alright, I had to flip the cart around because the leads on that welder is not long enough. And we're hoping that this guy is where we want it. Hoping. So I don't know whether to measure or eyeball, but not knowing much about it, I thought maybe I wanted them down just a little bit further. But I think I could put my bearings are made to go down in there further anyhow let's see what happens here well 
That's about as low as it's going to go. I guess you can turn these. That's about it. I don't know. I'd probably use the middle ones there. I'm not sure. I guess. Um, that's going to give me a lot of height. I really didn't want too much height on this cart. Man. Let me figure out what I'm going to do and I'll get you guys back here. Okay, I've decided I'm just going to leave it right there. These bolts are exposed. I didn't want to cover them up. I think it's okay. It's on there straight. Uh, we're going to go with it. We're just going to go with it and hopefully everything will be okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy welded in. And uh, we'll be able to put our motor and our axle on there anyhow. All right, we got them welded on. It's not the greatest weld, but it'll do. It's not the row of dimes like you guys all want, but it's welded and hopefully it'll stick pretty good. So now we got the axle. We can get the axle in this thing and actually see what it looks like. Let's do that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's starting to look more like a go-kart every time uh, we add something to it. And now, what I gotta do now is I need to figure out, this is the piece that went down in here that we had cutting off. I need to find out where the sprocket's gonna set in there and where the brake is gonna sit. That way we could get this bolted on or welded on here where it needs to go because we need to be able to put a brake on this and I don't have anything to catch my brake and this is going to be the piece so since we got this axle on we can go ahead and slide the sprocket up on there and the brake hub and go ahead and line it up for where we want it to sit so we can uh, have some brake alright I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here this is the the pipe that I need to weld back on Here's where the brake goes, over here. And this is your brake pad. Now, somebody out there needs to tell me whether this goes on the front side or the back. I'm thinking it goes on the front, like so. I'm not sure, but anyhow, this is hook up in here. And it'll hook to this piece here, so when we pull our rod, it's going to pull this band down and tighten it up. Now I noticed as I was putting this on that the motor is actually over that way too far. Uh, I need to bring the motor over so the sprocket actually clears the bearings underneath. So we got a little bit of work to do there but I think we can do it. It's just a matter of maybe making a new plate for the motor and, or cutting that one and sliding it over this way. So. But we'll get it. It's not a big deal. We'll get it. I only need about a half inch. If that. Probably a half inch will do it. Because I'm looking down through here. And actually, it'll almost go on there. Uh, let's see here. I could slide some bolts down there. I'll probably do a little bit better. It only looks like maybe a half inch it needs to come over. Right in there is where the, it's hitting my angle iron there, but right there is about where the sprocket needs to be. So it looks like this little sprocket in the back is about a half inch over that way. So uh, we might just cut that plate off and move it over just a little bit. It wouldn't be a big deal to move it over. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get this guy welded into place. And like I told you, I just took a couple clamps and put some angle iron so this is no, I don't want it, I want it to be the same place all the way across. So we're going to go ahead and get the welding this thing on here. I'm going to take that motor off of there first. I don't know if it'll hurt welding around that motor or not. But I am going to pull it off of there. Maybe.
Okay, now we can get the welding. We'll go ahead and get this guy welded back on and like I said, that'll give us break and pretty much what we need. See, I can move, if I had maybe a half inch on that sprocket, I would be fine. So, I might be able to take some stove bolts uh, like these here instead of actually I might get away with using these and those bearings uh, without a head and it probably would clear so I might do something like that or in them the the axle bearings put something like this in there All right, from looking at, this is our top sprocket here, and here's our bottom sprocket going right down through here. This sprocket and that sprocket is definitely not lined. I think what I'm going to have to do is cut the motor bracket off and move it over about as far as I possibly can. Uh, that's all I can see. I mean, I can move the sprocket in or out, but I can't move it in no more. Uh, so, I think I'm going to have to cut the motor uh, bracket off and just, just move it over. That's all I can tell right now. And then I'll be able to move the sprocket back and forth to line it up. Uh, you can see that top sprocket's off and it looks... Man, I just hope I have enough to move it over. I should have enough under there. I mean, by looking at it, it should be enough. Because if you look right here, right there, it's welded on that side of that pipe. <clears throat> See, it's more to this side of the pipe. And if I take it over, I might be able to gain that half inch or three quarters of an inch by moving this over. But then I got to look and see if I'm going to hit anything else anywhere else like in the uh, the clutch and all that you know I gotta make sure nothing by moving the motor over this way just an inch or three quarters of an inch is it gonna hurt anything I don't think so but I'm gonna go ahead and strip all this back down and get that motor um, cut off of there the motor bracket and go ahead and move it around because like I said I don't know what else to do with it this has been a tough little project for me because I'm not the best at it but we'll get her let me get this thing tore back down again Now the only way I know to get that plate square with that sprocket is to put the, I put that square in between there and made sure it was the same all the way up. It's moved over about as far as I could possibly get it. So hopefully that's going to work there. So we got to get it welded in there.
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square across the sprocket and across the plate that way up through here and down hopefully right on the sprocket and right on the plate and hopefully the plate is going to be good and square to the motor and that's pretty much about as good as I think it's going to get and it's about as far over as it's going to get so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tack all four corners put this guy all back together and try it again that's all we could do is keep trying okay we got four little tacks on there that should hold it so we can see if everything lines up and if everything looks good we'll pull it all back apart take the axle back out of it and weld the plate in hopefully that thing lines up with the motor Now, we actually have room in here to move this anywhere we want. If it needs up that way more or back this way, we got room. So, I think we're setting in there good. I think we're setting in there just the way we want it to set. So, it's over to the side a little bit, but that's all right with by me. So, what I'm going to do now is tear it all back apart and weld that plate in there. Shouldn't take much to get that welded in there and then the, our motor will be set up. Everything looks like it lines up really nice with the uh, sprocket so I'm just hoping that it works out. It should. It should be okay. All right, I want to give you guys one more quick look at the parts we used, and they came from GoPowerSports.com. The wheels, tires, axle, the sprocket, the bearing holders, the bearings, the brake, uh, uh, I guess you call that a drum, and the brake pad. We got them from GoPowerSports.com. We'll leave a link at the bottom. So if you guys are needing any of these parts, uh, Definitely great quality parts.
Well, she's starting to look like a go-kart. Um, it was looking pretty rough there, but I think we're getting it close. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do. We need to work on the steering. Uh, we need to work on the tie rods and our pedals up there, our gas pedal and our brake pedal. I think we did okay on the motor plate and uh, mounting the axle in. Everything looks pretty straight to me. I really don't know how you're supposed to line them up, but uh, it's really just a go-kart, so I don't think it matters that much. Maybe if we was racing it, it would or something like that, but just being a yard cart, I think it's set up pretty good. Don't forget now, we're going to, um, I'll leave you a link to all the parts we used in the rear end uh, from GoPowerSports.com. I'll leave them in the link down below. Uh, the seat, we're not too much worried about the seat. I got new padding and I got new uh, vinyl for the seat and uh, we got everything for this. We're just going to throw it off to the side until we get finished. I want to get all the rough out. I want to get, the, like I said, the steering and the tie rods and that type of stuff done. So I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.